What is going on guys, DBG here and in this video we are going to be talking about something in the new glitched reality set in NBA 2K21, my team. But before we get onto it, if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe. We are trying to hit 240,000 subs by the end of the month. There are five days to go and we are right now just over 1200 away so it's going to be it's going to be close it is going to be close but it's looking like we are going to hit it imagine like if we get hit 239 by the end of the day that would be absolutely nuts but anyway still really, really appreciate all the support in the channel recently it is just crazy anyway now let's get on to it so lads basically um this has been appearing on a few people's um like on a few people's screens so they have been getting the glitch market og ananobi so this card has been appearing on people's screens so if you guys don't know like initially we all thought that it was going to have something to do because 2k did post this picture right here so we thought it was going to be some way of finding runes and if you guys don't remember in other years like you literally used to have to um you used to have to like move all your players in weird directions and runes would pop up in cards and that's how you can access the black market or the glitch market so this one's an interesting one here because you can see it says like my team the glitch market is like packs and just flash glitch players so the one good thing is that if you get into the glitch market you literally literally get an og or basically a free og and an ob or a free frank nilakina like is here and a bunch of people have gotten the free Mars turner as well so we're looking at these glitch cards and they are all looking really really good and they are all really really good cards so in terms of like these glitch these glitch cards these are some of like the the more hyped cards they're definitely some of the more hyped cards like there again there is og and nilakina and i don't have a picture of turner but i know for a fact people have got turner however of all these cards no one has got the real one yet the real one that everybody wants the taco fall nobody yet has got the elusive taco fall so how do you get these cards they are basically like another vault and that is just kind of an unfortunate thing it is purely luck based and i thought there was going to be some like mad way of getting into the market after a game you play you can randomly get brought into this market so there's a chance that you um may never see this in the whole season and there's a chance that you could see all four of them straight away. So it's literally like an extra vault. So the, the easiest, a lot of people are saying, oh, you can get it from Triple Tread offline, but I've heard people getting it from other game modes. It appears to be a case of after every game you play, there is the potential that you can be entered into the black market. So again, I know someone said they got it from an unlimited game. So um, apparently you can get it from unlimited or you can get into it from the vault. Or say from playing triple shot offline. So it's like it basically an extra vault. But it's interesting. No one's I don't know what happens when you hit or one those two times. Um what type of like flash glitch cards you get. Because if it's like guaranteed some flash glitch cards for 500 MT, you're in good shape, but I doubt that's it. Um But yeah, the glitch this is how obviously JC130, um, another YouTuber, go check him out. Um he was the first person to get any of these cards. It took him about 40 minutes though to get OG. So it's not like this is the super, super easy thing. It's not like people are getting them straight away. But, like, I reckon it will be common. I reckon for most people that play the game mode, because I'm probably going to go for Fat Lever, um, because I think I'm going to go for D-Rob. Or, so not D-Rob. I'm going to go for J.R. Smith. It would be after I went for D-Rob, just because it's just something to do. Um, and I'm probably going to go for OG. Or I'm probably going to get... Like, OG would be a great one, but I reckon I'll probably end up getting two or three of these glitch market players. But if you're looking at these cards right here, are they worth going for, per se? So, like, we're looking at Moz Turner, who's, like, a way better card than Anthony Towns. Moz Turner is, like, a god-tier player in-game. He's got Range Extender. He has got Pump Fake Monster. He's got Pick and Popper. Um, Dream Shake, Post Spin, Box, Brick Wall, Clamps, Intimidator, Moving Truck, Pogo. So, like, he's got some insane bads, and he's just an elite, elite center. If you're looking at Nilakina, it's basically Alonzo Ball with 30 half badges. So, he's a player that I'm... He's Alonzo Ball with the Curry Slide and 30 half badges. So, I think he's most definitely worth trying to get. I think he's fantastic. 
Um, I think OG's like a slightly downgraded open Paul George. I think he's another fantastic card as well. And then Taco obviously is just a cheese ball. He's like a million times better version of Yao Ming. So yeah, it's it's kind of a funny one. It is really a funny one where it's like these guys here are all good, but like the con the way of getting them appears to be just pure luck based. So it honestly just appears that he's going to just show up. It's going to show up when it shows up. It'll be interesting to see if there are other ways of entering the glitch market. Like 2K have probably put a bunch of weird ways of entering the glitch market. I wouldn't be surprised if it's a thing like if you sit, if you sat there um, and waited like 40 minutes of your round to get into the glitch market. I would not be surprised if there are other ways of getting in. But the way we know of right now and tell people have been getting in, and um, people have been getting into the glitch market by just playing the game. So I don't even like. I'm not even too fussed about it. I would have liked there have been to have been a little bit more mystery about it. Um, I wouldn't mind if there's like, if there are other ways, for example, if you spam, if you type in the Konami code or something at a certain point in the menu, um, you get into it, but that only works for like a thousand people. So it's like a rush to get onto these, like, and there's like multiple new methods of getting in. And then obviously I think this is a really good method for the people that don't want to like mystery hunt. They still have a chance of getting the players by just getting it as a reward. So I do think that is cool, but it's an interesting one to see what 2k are going to be doing um with this entire thing whether they're going to really just make it as like an extra vault or an extra potential prize after every game you play or whether 2k are going to make this glitch mark into something more because i don't i highly highly doubt that this is the last time we see cards being added into the glitch market i highly doubt it like i reckon we see 10 plus cards like we've seen four today I reckon we see maybe one, one to two a week get added into the glitch market, and I can see cards being taken away from, taken out of the glitch market as well. So, I reckon that maybe these cards last a week, and then they might get taken out, or they make might get taken out in the middle of the season. But I, I say it's going to be very, very difficult to get all four of these cards. But and again, it's a, it's one of those things where all of these are good cards in their own right. So if you happen to get any of these, you're in really good shape. So you are like you're in really good shape. If you happen to get any of these cards. But it's not like they are. It's not like they are game breaking cards either. But they are just like very, very good cards. So, um, yeah. Anyway, now I'm going to say whether it's worth doing. I wouldn't. I would not spam out games to get any of these cards. I really wouldn't. I do not think that. Um, it is worth going for these cards just to get them because they're good and all but like is oh i don't know be much better in malik Sealy? no is thing better much better in sabonis turner no if if you happen to get one of the glitch market players if you happen to get into the glitch market congratulations you've got a really really good card in your hands for only 500 mt like it should be seen as a great thing if you get into the glitch market it's not some, but it's also because it's not a, something that's in your control. It's not something I think you should specifically, specifically go for. So, because uh, I think you could be wasting a whole lot of time. Like we don't know the way the algorithm works. We don't know how it works. We don't know if it's purely random based, based after every game. We just don't know. We simply do not know how it works. And we also don't know if there will be other methods of getting into the glitch market. And if it turns out that there are, in a week's time, there are really quick methods of getting into the glitch market, and you have spent all your time playing, grinding against the CPU because you wanted to finish games quickly and triple chat offline, then it's really going to seem like a waste. So, if you get these cards, congrats! You've got re you've got some really really good cards in your hand. You're going to have some of the more usable cards, but at the end of the day, it's it's just not worth it because you could get left with nothing. And if you've spent 10, 15 hours grinding for nothing, like if you're going for Fat Lever, if you're going for um, Jerry Sloan, then fair enough. But if you are just grinding specifically for this card, for these cards, I think there is a very, very good chance that you just get let off with absolutely nothing. If you get them, you get them. But specifically grinding for them, I think is a really, really bad idea. So let me know in the comments, have you found any other ways? Are there any other ways? You think there are any other ways? Let me know what you guys think about the glitch market. You guys think it's going to be relevant? Do you think 2K are going to update it? Or it's going to be a fad thing just to promote the start of the season? So yeah, that is pretty much it, lads. That is the video. 
Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.